Welcome back again guys, we're nearing the end of our playthrough now, so we'll continue on with episode 12 and we'll jump right in. It's locked. I don't want to bust all that. Children's books. Trust you. Ooh, I bet I could pick that. Money. This isn't funny. I don't want to mess up the wheel. The wheel's my friend. I think I'm right. If I bust all the handle, then I'm never gonna get I in there. I promise. Let me out. Ah! I think I'm running out of air. Must have hit a major circuit. Hmm. But it looks like I've exposed the guts here. I can't move those by hand. I need this wheel. You can come out now. Mitchy? Uh oh. Oh, Raul. I am so, so sorry. Looks like I messed up these contacts when I broke through with the bustle. Why is that door closed? Uh, it was the only way I, uh, uh, the wind? Oh. <laughs> hey, this is my room. Go use up the air in your own room. That home plumbing sprinkler system looks like it's about to fall apart. Now, all we have to do is wait for the room to fill up, and we'll just float on out of here. Well, this is disappointing. Not to me. We don't float, remember? Thank you. What about the suitcases? What's in these cases? Take a look. It's all the double-end tickets Hector and Dom have stolen over the years. Each one stolen from a good soul, and now they just sit there. That's it. What? They just sit there. That's what's been bothering me. In the days when I was a hot salesman, I used to see double-end tickets all the time, and they move. What do you mean, they move? They become agitated around human souls and the ticket that belongs to you will actually fly into your hand. But these tickets, and the tickets in that suitcase of Charlie's, it's like they're dead. Why would Hector and Domino be hoarding cases of counterfeit double-end tickets? Ah, doesn't matter. They wouldn't fit through this hole anyway. Let's go.
Galatis, I'm so glad to see you. Aww. Is the boat all ready? Yeah, come on. Let's go eat some reef. Works like crazy. Full speed ahead. What? Oh. So are you really going to bring me back and try to get your old job again? There's no job for me now except to bring you and everyone else here to the end of the road. But if you aren't going to use me to get your job back, why did you spend all this time trying to find me? Meche, I... I needed to find you. I give you one job, Manny! And look at you, already screwing it up! Suppose you realize that this is gonna go down on your permanent record. I don't believe you, Calavera. You're losing a fight, so you pick on one of my pets? Why aren't you more like me, Manny? I've been trying to show you how, but you don't listen! If you just adopt the proper attitude, just look what could happen to you! Name? Pugsy Poligiano, sir. Hmm. Waiting room number two. Next. Glorious! Glorious! It does mean. Glorious? Where'd you go this time? Glottis. Hear the name of the Great One. Glottis. Glottis. What's happening? How many days has this Grand Demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Months? Months? Oh, then the Noble One will surely die. But... Glottis, I'm sorry. Many... Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? Will anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Karna. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> no more hot rod. Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is, my final work. It could save me if you have the right... <coughs> The right <coughs> fuel. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys. 
blood is what fuel. Oh. Oh. Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Lehmann stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. That train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. My friend is sick. Can you help us? A thousand demons have died upon delivering the souls they were created to protect. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note. I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Lamans. Híjole. Gladys would love these. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here. This world's for suckers. It's the mug I gave Bruno, and it's full of that foam I packed him in. Looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. It's full of rags. Always a good idea to have a clean rag around. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. Well, it's good to know they recycle oil out here at the end of the world. This better not stay in my pocket.
What was in that mug? Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life. Come back to us someday. Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? Um, those dominoes are like one long fuse. I think these are buyers of tattoo designs. They're labeled nautical and nice. It's the latter I came in on. Your mother will love it. to the limbo. Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? Maybe I'll just finish this for him. Coffin shooter one, two, three, just pour, chill, and serve. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water. Calavera, what are you doing here? 
I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. What's that? It's, uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad tall. <whistles> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! Aren't we in a hurry? Don't worry, this won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? <laughs> Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. It's not gelling. It can't gel now. It got all nice and warm in my belly. Liquid nitrogen, not to be used on bone. Hey, good idea! I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. It was a trap! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir. You have saved me. But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. Idiot Bowsley, your new lab assistant is a spy! Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years.
Okay then, that looks like we're in the final area of the game now. Should be one or two more episodes left, and then we should be finished the game. So I'll see you in the next episode, and thanks for watching.